Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome back. I'm here today to share with you my empties from the month of November. I'm recording this pretty late in the month of December and I've been holding off because I keep wanting to like edit my spreadsheet so I can see what my totals are, but I haven't been able to do it and this has just been sitting here. So I'm just going to film the video and then insert photos like I normally do. Hopefully in December, I'll have my, like for my December empties, I will have my game plan in place. <laughs> okay, let me share with you what I finished in the month. There's a pretty decent amount of stuff here, I think. It's all right. I don't know what my totals are, like I said, but I think there's a pretty decent amount of stuff here. So let me start with makeup, because it's usually the most exciting thing. I have a lot more skincare, but makeup is the most exciting thing. <laughs> So let me start with a base. I have from Clarins, I have the SOS Primer in the shade 02 Peach. So it's this primer here. It was in my 21 and 21 project or A to Z. No, I can't remember, but I finished it. And I really did like this primer. It was nice. It didn't, it wasn't drying. It had a nice tint to it that kind of covered some imperfections. So it was good. I don't know that it's a holy grail, but I did enjoy it. So I may repurchase it. I have some other primers that I need to get through, but yeah, this was nice. From Tatcha, I have the Liquid Silk Canvas. I have this little deluxe size mini. This was from my 50 Shades in Purple project. This has five grams. It still took me a pretty decent amount of time to finish, but I did like this. I would purchase a full size. I did enjoy it. I have two concealers. The first one is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is in the shade Light Neutral. This was also in Fifty Shades of Purple. I'm so glad this is done. These take forever for me to finish. I don't, it's just, there's so much product in here. This has 10 mils. So I did take out the stopper. There's a teeny tiny bit left at the bottom, but I was done scraping this container. As you can see, there's a lot of windowing here. There's a teeny tiny bit left on the wand, but it was done. Not enough to do a full eye without me having to dip, screw the top back on, reapply. It was just, it's done. It is done so. The other concealer I finished is from Urban Decay. It's the Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer in Light Neutral. So this was in Drawback 30. I think it was in Throwback 30. I cannot remember. I have several of these too. I used to love this concealer and it's okay now, you know, that I've tried a bunch of others. It just doesn't have the coverage that I'm looking for. It's, it's a light coverage concealer. So I don't know if their current concealer that has replaced this is the same, but yeah, I, you know, it's fine. It's a nice mixer actually to go with, like if there's a, a concealer that's more coverage than you want. This is a great one to mix to make it to where it's a little bit, you know, less caked and like blanking of your skin. Anyway, finish that. I have three lip products. The first one is by Fresh. It's their Sugar Watermelon Hydrating Lip Balm. I love these. They're, there's not a lot of product for the money but I don't care because I love them. They're super nice and they smell really good. They, you know, they're just I, I, super hydrating. I love them. They're like a splurgy item. So I, but I've, all the ones I've purchased, I've purchased on sale. So two colored lip products from Bite Beauty. I have the matte creme lip crayon in pastille. This is one of my favorite shades. Of course, this is a long discontinued product but this is what the shade looks like. I loved this color so much. I have at least one other backup of this that I need to work through, but the shade was stunning. Loved it. And then from Marc Jacobs, I have a little mini. This is in the shade Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, the Lamarck Lip Creme. So here is the product packaging. And then this was what the shade was. I, this is beautiful too. I hope Marc Jacobs comes back. This is a really gorgeous color but it's all done. <laughs> Yay. 
And then I have one mascara. I have the Tarte Maneater Mascara. So this is a full size. And this was a decent mascara. It's not a holy grail, but I enjoyed it. I don't love the wand. The I prefer non-plastic bristled wands. But, you know, it was all right. The mascara was all right. Not a holy grail. Okay, I think that was all of the makeup. Now let me get into skincare. So I have a couple of cleansers. They're all deluxe sizes. This is the Youth to the People Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamin Superfood Cleanser. So this is a little bit of a drying cleanser in my opinion for my dry skin. But I use this in the shower, so it was it was fine in that for that purpose. You know, I didn't use it on my face every single day. I used it maybe like once a week, and it was fine for that. But I don't need a full size of this. It's just not for my skin type. And then I have two cleansing balms. I have one from pharmacy. I have the green tea, <laughs> the green clean makeup melt away cleansing balm. So I think I actually took this when I went to Hawaii and then I want to say I finished it like the last day, no, like around the first of the month after I came back. So I didn't need it. I didn't finish this whole thing while I was away, but I think I finished it right when I got back. And this is a great cleanser, balm cleanser. It's not my favorite balm cleanser. I know people love this. I like it. I prefer the Clinique and I think I prefer a couple of others too. Well, I shouldn't say that. I think it's on par with a couple of others that I've tried, like the one from Belief. I really like that one. And actually the next one I'm going to talk about too. But yeah, this is, I would repurchase this. Absolutely. And then this other one that I wanted to mention is by AOA, like Shop Masse, AOA Skin, I think. Anyway, it's the Green Tea and Vitamin E Cleansing Balm. I really liked this. I need to try a full, I shouldn't say, I kind of want to buy a full size, but I think it, it smelled nice. It was clean, fresh. It was a great cleanser. I really am surprised how much I enjoyed this. So I think I'm going to put it on my radar for purchasing a full size of this. I don't know how much the full size is. I want to say this was like three bucks. So I don't know the cost breakdown between like this and let's say the Clinique, which I always, almost always get half off from Ulta. I don't know. I'll have to see. But I like that. Now this I did not like. This is by Sephora. It's the Triple Action Cleansing Water with Matcha Green Tea Extract. I just don't think micellar waters are my thing because I did not like this at all. The scent was too harsh and I just didn't really like the product. Mm -mm, not my thing. Okay, those were all the cleansers, I believe. Now let me get into some serums. <laughs> so from Lancome, I have the Advanced Genifique Youth Activating Concentrate. I really do like this serum. It feels really nice going on. It feels hydrating. I thoroughly enjoy this. I did pick up a couple of full sizes of this when they went half off at Ulta. So yeah, I do enjoy that. From Biosance, I have the Squalene and Lactic Acid Resurfacing Night Serum. This is okay. It would never replace my Sunday Really Good Jeans. But, you know, for, uh, tra for travel purposes and... As a sample, it's fine. I just don't need a full size. From Sulwasu, I have the First Care Activating Serum. I freaking love this. I would 100% repurchase and I have. I am kind of bummed. I, I couldn't always get the very last of this serum, but because there was still a little bit left in the bottle, but this is really nice. It's pricey, so I got it during Sephora's VIB sale. I just smeared that all over my hand. Anyway, this was really nice. <laughs> I took this with me on my trip to Hawaii. This is the Avene A Oxidative Antioxidant Defense Serum. I liked how this went on. It felt really nice going on. So I don't, I would not repurchase it, but I didn't hate this. I, I kind of liked it. <laughs> 
I liked how it went on. I don't know how effective it is long term, but yeah, it was nice. It felt good. From May Lindstrom, I have a baby sample of the Blue Cocoon. I love this stuff. This went with me on my trip to Hawaii. I love it. It's, it's a product that I use right before I do like oils at night. I've tried using this during the daytime and it doesn't jive with my daytime skincare. I don't know what it is like what it chemically interacts with that does not work, but it pills horribly with my daytime skincare. So I only use this at night, but I love it. It's a holy grail. Always will have that in my collection. I have my vitamin C serum. This is by Timeless. It's their 20% vitamin C, frulic acid, and vitamin E. And this is my Holy Grail Vitamin C Serum. I do, I, I this did replace the Drunk Elephant Vitamin C Serum. Now I can't even think of what it was a long time ago. And I feel like when I don't have, when I'm not using this, I notice. So this is a Holy Grail. I will always have it in my collection. I have an Essence. This is May Coop's Raw Sauce. And I, this is the second bottle of this I finished this year. I really do enjoy this. I've actually already opened another bottle. I use this after I tone, before I do acids. I, I just, I love how it goes on. I feel like it's very hydrating. I like it. A lot. I have several backups. I have a mist, like a skincare mist. This I use this, I... I use this as a toner. So as my second toner, which is like a pH balancing toner, this is the Pixi Hydrating Milky Mist. I did not love this. I don't know if I was using it in a different way than other people do, but as a toner, I did not like it. So I would not repurchase it. And for for, for like a makeup spray, it the, the sprayer was awful. So I wouldn't use it for that purpose either. I just, it's not a repurchase for me. Okay, I have a couple of creams. <laughs> this one went with me on my trip as well. I had pulled this into my turn and burn project. This is by Lancome. It's the Absolute Premium Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 15 Replenishing and Rejuvenating Day Cream. Longest name ever. And this was nice. I didn't, like, it's not a holy grail. I wouldn't repurchase it, but it was a decent day cream. My holy grail is by Belief. It is the True Cream Moisturizing Balm. I did finish a full size of this and I love this stuff. Love it. I feel like it's affordable and I mean it's not high end, right? It's not Drunk Elephant. It's not drugstore. It's like in between. It's I think $40 for a 50 ml jar. I love it. And usually where I purchase these is during the holidays, they have kits that they do. So they'll have this plus like a bunch of other samples for the same price as this. And then I get that 20% off. So I'm basically getting this 20% off plus a bunch of samples. And I like doing that. So that's whenever I usually purchase these. Holy grail. We'll always have it in my collection. I have two eye creams. The first one is by Estee Lauder, the Advanced Night Repair Eye Supercharged Complex Synchronized Recovery. This is amazing. Oh my gosh. I loved this so much. It felt so good going on. I thought about getting this during Black Friday. And then I decided, no, I don't need it because... I've got so much, so many eye creams that I have in my collection that I want to work through. They had a great deal. I think uh, Estee Lauder's website had the, like, either this with the night repair for the cost of just the night repair. So they had great sets. Those sold out pretty quick. Along with that, they had a kit for like $75 that included the Advanced Night Repair Serum, the full, full size, full size of this plus deluxe size samples of this, plus a full size cream, like day cream or night cream, I can't remember, plus a deluxe size sample of that, and then some like rando makeup for $75. And their serum is usually around that price anyway. And I was very tempted, but I didn't pull the trigger. And in fact, I waited so long, the little set that I wanted sold out. I was like, okay, that's a sign. Then I was shopping for my aunt for the holidays. 
And I have one who is visiting from Turkey right now. And I was like, I don't know what to get her. I call my mom. She's like, you know, she, I asked her if she likes skincare or makeup. And I kind of wanted something that she could put in her suitcase to go home with because I didn't want anything bulky. So I was at the mall. And as I was on the phone with my mom, I came across the Estee Lauder counter and they had this product and then some samples for like 68 bucks. And it was a pretty good like little, little box set. And then they had those kits for $75. So I went ahead and picked that up for my aunt and then picked up the box for myself. And then I'm going to give the makeup away like a stocking stuffers. So it ended up working out well because I ended up getting the serum, both serums, like the full size of the skin, the face and the eye for around $75 plus a bunch of minis. Oh, and the, and the cream. Anyway, long tangent. This is amazing. <laughs> mm. I finished another eye cream. This is by It Cosmetics. It's confidence in an eye cream. I really do like this too. If you have dry skin, dry under eyes, this is great. It's very thick. It's very hydrating. I enjoy that. But I typically will use that under my, like on the tops of my lids and underneath as a hydrating. And then I have the treatment serum that goes underneath that. I have one, I have one sunscreen. This is by Neutrogena. It's the Invisible Daily Defense Face Serum Sunscreen SPF 60 Plus. This is fantastic. I want to say I saw, what's her channel name? Glamista? No. Gothamista. I had to think about it. I think her channel name is Gothamista. I, I saw her talk about this. I think it's a new sunscreen by Neutrogena this year. This is amazing. I 100% uh, uh, would repurchase this. Absolutely. It's beautiful. Okay, a couple of several, I have a couple of like masks, masks, and then I have a lot of sheet masks. So by Ole Henriksen, I have the Firm Action Mask. I did not love this. I don't even think they sell this anymore. I think I found this at TJ Maxx. It's all done. I would not purchase a mask like this. I just, I think these are not the best for dry skin, especially. But yeah, I wasn't a fan. And I have two minis. I have from Peter Thomas Roth, the Cucumber Gel Mask. And this is nice. It's not a not a product that I would purchase a full size of. It's okay. I don't need it in my life. The Peter Thomas Roth Firm X Peeling Gel. I did not care for this. I don't need products like this. I think maybe if you have oily skin or if you have acne prone skin, this may be nice, but I don't need it. Okay, and then sheet masks. I have two from Tony Moly. They're the Shea Butter Sheet Mask. It's a moisturizing sheet mask. I have two of these. These are nice. From Pure Lease, I have th four, four of the Blue Lotus and Seaweed Treatment Mask. I really do love the per Pure Lease masks. They're really nice going on. They're hydrating. I just, I really do love these. And I have one from Esfolio, the Snail Essence Sheet Mask. These are, I like these too. Sometimes I like stretch out the little eye holes because sometimes they're a little too small for my face. So I, I pretty I like to do that on the masks that are, that don't fit quite right. And then from Innisfree, I have the My Real Squeeze Sheet Mask. And this one was nice too. Those are all, I went through a lot of sheet masks. Let's do body care. From Bath and Body Works, I have the Warm Vanilla Sugar Shower Gel. I loved this. It smells so good. I don't have the scent notes, but just trust me, it's delicious. It's so good. Would we purchase that scent? I have another one from Bath and Body Works in Black Amethyst. This is Peony Petal Sweet Sandalwood Patchouli Creamy Amber. Amazing. If you like sensual, sexy scents, this one. It's beautiful. It's a little florally, but just enough to kind of be interesting. Oh, I love that so much. Body creams. I have the matching body cream from Bath and Body Works and Black Thamethyst. This is the Ultra Shea body cream. I think they've changed the name of this, but it's the same product. Loved that. Smelled amazing. From Josie Marin, I have the Whipped Argan Oil Ultra Hydrating Body Butter and Vanilla Wafer. 
So it's a four ounce jar. Her jars are usually eight ounces. Oh, this was so nice. Uh, her moisturizers are heavy. So if you have dry skin, it's great. They, the product kind of lingers on your skin for a little bit. So if you don't like a little bit of residue to hang out for a while, I would not try these. But if you have dry skin and you don't mind that, give these a try. They're beautiful. And QVC has great deals every once in a while. So I check them out there. And my last bath item, right? Is by Scentsy. It is the Winterberry Apple Tea Sugar Scrub. And this is divine. Divine. Fall in a jar. Fall in a jar. It is so good. <laughs> it is so yummy. I think I melted some Winterberry Apple Tea wax melts a couple of days ago. And I was like, oh my God, it's so good. So good. I love it. Would we purchase that? I have one hair care item from Blueberry Bliss. I have the Reparative Leave-In Conditioner. So this is the item here. I've had this for a little while. It takes me a while to get through leave-in conditioner because I don't necessarily use it every single day. I do have a little bit of res residue at the bottom. And I shouldn't say that. I that I don't use it every day. I try to put leave-in conditioner on my hair every time I wash my hair. And more so recently because my hair has, I don't know what it is, but since it's gotten to this like full curl mode that it is now like it's at its healthiest it's very dry if that makes sense like I feel like my hair is very full now I used to feel like I had like bald spot in the back but now it but my hair feels fuller but it's also very dry it's drier than it used to be so I need a leave-in conditioner almost every time I wash my hair whether it be this type of format or like a spray. But this is nice. I don't know that I would 100% repurchase this, but it was nice. I think I prefer the one I'm using now from Kinky Curly. And I kind of want to play around because this was only the first leave-in conditioner that I've gone through. So I kind of want to play around with some stuff. I do have a hair color. I forgot that I had this here. This is by Goldwell. It is in the shade 6RV, which is the base of my hair color. I think I go through like one of these a month when I do my hair color at home. And then I have two hand soaps from, they're both from Bath and Body Works. I have Rainforest Gardenia. This is the deep cleansing hand soap. And the scent notes of this were white gardenia, sweet apple water, and bamboo. Nice fresh scent. It's not a favorite. I wouldn't repurchase it, but I didn't hate it. I just, I just would not repurchase it. This one is a favorite. This is Blackberries and Basil, the Gentle Foaming Hand Soap. Oh, I love this scent. I have it in candle form. I have it in this form, obviously. And I think I have it in body care, too. It is so good. Hmm. Scent notes are Blackberries, Sparkling Champagne, and Basil. And I don't really smell the basil like a hint in the background. It just adds complexity. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Mmm, yummy. If you like blackberry scents, I would try that. And then a couple of rando things. From Daiso, I have the Puff Sponge Detergent. So I use these to wash my makeup sponges. It's amazing. They're so good. This is so good. You can get these on Amazon. You can, if you have a local Daiso to you, actually, I think I've only been able to find them at Tesso. So, which is the, a little bit more high end version of Daiso. It's, they sell a lot of skincare there, but yeah, that's where I found the puff sponge, but really nice. Cleans your sponge like you wouldn't believe. From Bath and Body Works, I have a pocket back in this scent Ocean. So this one here, I haven't been using as much hand sanitizer, but I've gone through a few here and there. There's a little bit there at the bottom, but I can't not be bothered getting it out. And then lastly, I have a, this is not a tinkle razor. It's I think by Schick. Of course it doesn't have it on here. Oh, it is. <laughs> it does it right here on the thingy. It's by Schick. Yeah. And I don't know what it's called, but 
I found these on Amazon and I think they were on par with the tinkle razors and I like these. These are nice. I like the ergonomic handle. And those are all of my empties for the month of November. So I'll scooch over. I will include a chart here that shows you all of my empties for the month of November in the cat, like four or five main categories that I tabulate everything into and what my total was for the month. I also have a super nerdy chart that shows you my empties for the month of November charted by category as well. And then over my entire face, I will put a chart that shows you the amount of products I have used up monetary in monetary value in each category for January through November so far. And then here at the bottom, I will include the total amount of product that I have used over the course of the year so far through November. I will actually have the numbers in December during the video, during my December like finale empties vi video for the year, but I just didn't, wasn't able to get around to it <laughs> for November. I do have a couple of declutters. I forgot to mention these. There's only three here. All three of them are lip products. The first one is by e.l.f. It is the their crayon in the shade fuchsia. I tried this in my no October 365 days of eyeshadows and I felt that it was patchy on my lips. You can kind of see up here that it's a little patchy. I just didn't love it. So that's going. So I actually have two of these. This is by NARS and it's the velvet matte lip pencil in let's go crazy. I don't feel like I need two of these. I don't, I mean, here's the color. It's very, very similar to the one we just looked at. I just don't feel like I need to have two. So I'm going to declutter one. And then lastly, this is by Lorac and it is the Alter Ego lipstick, I believe, in Mama Bear. This is just too light. So this came in a kit that I picked up from TJ Maxx. And it's very light. On me, it was like way too concealer lipsy. Now, I've thought about holding on to this to see what it looks like when I'm at my fairest because I am nowhere near my fairest right now. So I'm, hmm, I'm tempted. It's a beautiful formula. And I know I have shades like this in my collection. I don't know. I'm, I, I may hold on to that just to see what it looks like when I am pasty white because I am nowhere near that right now having just come from the beach earlier this year in October. We'll see. I think I'm going to declutter it, but I may end up changing my mind and holding on to it. One more thing before I go. I am doing a version of a low buy with a couple of other people. We're going to be supporting each other and I'll have more details about that project challenge, whatever you want to call it in the beginning of the year, but I do, I did want to share that that's kind of what I plan on doing in 2022. And a lot of it's going to be based on how much I'm able to get through and the value of what I'm able to get through. So more to come on that, but that is going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you're doing well and staying safe and enjoying the holidays. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Oh, there's a piece of trash back there. Yeah. Get rid of my trash on the bed. <laughs>
There's a pretty, pretty. I just don't like think. I just. I need. I, I, so I originally was. <laughs> and from Josie Marin, I have the whipped argan oil ultra hiding hide. I should say I actually actually. Actually, actually, I have from Daiso the puff sponge sponge. And I also have a fancy dancy nerdy chart that shows you the same product, same, the same category. <gasps> okay, bye.